The views of the guest are that of the guests and do not represent nor reflect the views and opinions of the Lockout Men channel, the recruiter call channel, nor its host. This site content is for entertainment, educational, and informational purposes only. So basically, I just got fired for having personal time with a woman inside of this truck. Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? What's going on, guys? Welcome to the channel where we keep our ear to the streets. Thank you for listening. In today's episode, we discuss the shocking incident involving a truck driver who was caught on camera having a clap session with his lady friend. The company have seen the footage and has now demanded that he comes back to the yard and drop off his truck. He's just been fired. Join us as we delve into this unexpected event, which led up to his abrupt end to his trucking journey with this company. This is the story of Andrew Tag Me. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. So, as you guys can see from this this picture, I'm a truck driver, right? I drive trucks. I'm inside the truck. Truck driver. So, I just woke up from a nap, and I just got this picture sent to me from my job. And these people telling me that they saw me on the camera having personal time with a woman oh that's crazy that's crazy see i keep telling you guys that these snitch cameras these ai cameras i keep telling you guys y'all want to believe what the recruiters say with that the camera don't come on only time when the camera is activated is when it's an event happening and stuff like that i keep telling you guys that these cameras be on 24 7. 24 7 especially if the truck is running right but even if the truck isn't running the camera is still on now i don't know if the gentleman was having a clap session with his lady friend with the curtains open considering the fact that you got a snitch camera inside your truck you might want to close it or maybe he works for one of those companies that they frown upon unauthorized person in the truck but considering the fact that you're an over-the-road driver and you're out for like weeks or months on end and you just happen to meet up with your lady friend at a truck stop or something like that, and she comes to visit you or to spend time with you, what's the matter with that? I don't see nothing wrong with that. I mean, that's just my opinion. I'm not sure how his policy works at his company, but I'm sure you guys have friends that come out and meet you at your truck or to spend some time with you. Like that, I'm sure y'all not gonna stand outside of the truck and do anything. Y'all gonna go inside the truck, y'all gonna chill, y'all gonna do what y'all gonna do. But in this particular instance, the camera was on, they saw the young lady get into his truck. He probably had the curtains open, so they probably seen more than what they wanted, than what they should have seen. And they want me to come to the yard tomorrow and drop the truck off and find my way home. So basically, I just got fired for having personal time with a woman inside of this truck. Now that's crazy, that's crazy. And they probably gonna put on his outro that he probably had an unauthorized person in the truck and that probably violated company policy. But still, going back to the snitch camera, I keep telling you guys, y'all, y'all want to believe what the company tells you as far as when this this AI camera goes off. But I keep telling you this, this AI camera is recording every day, all day, 24-7 a day. I keep telling you all that. So it's crazy that when a company tells you, oh, well, we, we don't see the action or anything like that until the camera is triggered. Well, they can see any and everything they wanna see. All they gotta do is just go inside of the camera and pull the footage. It doesn't matter if you get into a triggering incident or not. The footage is being recorded. And whenever time they need to go in there to see whatever the case, maybe they just wanna go in there and do it for a weekly review, or they just wanna go in there just to see how you're doing. They can do that any and every time they can. It doesn't matter. They can jump into a camera. They can pull the footage. They can see what you're doing whenever you're doing. So if you had a clap session with your woman or something like that, you pretty much gave them a show. 
and somebody there got into their feelings. And then they send you a text message on the Qualcomm saying, hey, we saw some inappropriate things going on in our trucks that we don't think that's policy. We need you to bring the truck back and our service together is no longer valid. Now, basically, they want him to come back up to the terminal, drop the truck off and get home how he's going to get home. And that's another thing I tell you guys about, too. When a company tells you to get home, you're going to look at the company like, well, how, how am I going to get home? It's not up to the company anymore. How are you going to get home? How are you going to get home is how are you going to get home. So that's why you should always have some extra cash on you, a credit card on you, and always pack light. I, I say that. I would keep saying that. I would keep reiterating that. Stop bringing the house with you when you go work for these companies, especially if, if it's a first-time company. Don't come there broke and don't come with a lot of, a lot of stuff. I understand that this is the company truck, but we basically live in this truck. We basically sleep in this truck. And it should be no way that a company can be able to record you inside of these trucks. You got one part of that wrong. This is their truck. Key word, their truck. Regardless of the fact that we live in this truck, regardless of the fact that we sleep in this truck, this is still their truck. Now, I understand about the right to privacy. That's a controversial thing, too, because a company earlier in the years got sued because somebody was at the office looking at one of the young ladies while she was in her birthday suit inside of the truck. So I, I can understand it's the right to privacy, but still, this is their trucks. So I'm not sure how you had your clap session. Hopefully next time we'll close the curtains maybe you had your curtains closed maybe they just saw the young lady come into the truck and actually didn't see you do anything but i'm just saying i'm just speculating that you probably had a clap session you probably left the curtains open by mistake because you probably figured that since the camera is not triggering it's not doing anything but it is recording. I'm, I'm gonna let you guys know that that's what this cameras do. This camera records everything you do in the truck and it relays the footage back to the office, man. Doing anything of your personal time inside of these trucks. Now, this truck have an inside face camera and this is the outcome of having that inside face camera. Now, this, this, this has to be illegal. There's no way that this is legal. There's no way that a company should be able to watch you inside of a truck. I, I agree with you. Don't get me wrong. I agree with you. I am not a fan of these new AI cameras. I am definitely not, not a fan of it. I'm not cool with the fact that I got Big Brother watching my every minute, every moment, every decision. It's a little stressful as it is. You just want to make sure you do everything the right way. You want to make sure you don't have nothing in your hand. You want to make sure that you don't do nothing that will cause the camera to trigger. You know what I'm saying? Again, like I said, it's stressful. But is it illegal? I don't think so. And again, the key word is this is their truck. I don't know what you guys think. I know you guys got some heavy, heavy opinions on these AI cameras. I just recently talked to my guy, Wild Beard, about it. I, I do have a commentary on the AI snitch camera in the archives that you guys can go back and watch as well, man. Thank you for tuning in, guys. I really do appreciate it. If you guys want to see the video without my commentary, you definitely can. The link will be in the description. My man, Andrew, tag me on TikTok. Definitely go over there and check his page out. We explored today a highly personal and unexpected event involving the truck driver, Antoine Andrew Tagley, who was who was fired for just who was fired after being caught on camera having a personal time with his ladies' friends. Again, guys, what's your thoughts on this situation? Do you think the company's actions were justified? And I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna say no, it wasn't. But how how do you balance? working for a company that has these AI cameras in their trucks with your privacy on the road. How do you balance that? Let us know what you guys think. Until next time, everybody.